in this video we are heading to london to get my gate analyzed i've been invited up there by the cool guys at asics so we're heading to the big store on oxford street to go and get my gate analyzed there's some other cool tech they're going to be showing us i'm also hoping to get my hands on the new kayano while i'm there so before that i've got to get on the train and get myself up to london so i'll catch you guys in a bit Okay, people, so we made it to ASICS in London. I'm here with Rahil. Say hello. Hello. Who's going to help me today? She's awesome, already awesome. Um, this looks quite serious. We're going to be getting on that, I guess. Yeah. So, first thing we're doing is gate analysis for me. And as you know on the channel, I do pronate a little bit. So, we're going to go through that. I've got the famous Magic Speeds on today because they're a neutral shoe, so hopefully, it'll show up any pronation yes. that I do or don't have. Yeah. Um, how does it, oh, by the way, is this, can anybody just book this in? You can book it in or walk in. It's, it's a service that's free to... So it's customer. free? It's free. Okay. Uh, no charge. You don't need to buy a shoe. You do not need to pay a cost to do it. Uh, nothing. You can literally walk in just to check your pronation. Really? Um, yeah, because obviously pronation is really important. Yeah. It's really important for a runner and for anyone every day of your Okay. You know, it's really important. You need to make sure that you know, you're wearing the correct shoes. Because pronation, again, it comes from the fact that you're basically exposing your feet to a lot more pressure. Mm. And when you're over pronating or under pronating, it can impact your knees, your back, your any joints. Massive. And it can cause injuries that are just are very unnecessary. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I think I got injured because I was running in the um, Nike Zoomex Invincible. Yeah. Uh, I was marathon training and I ran through the problems. And I think that's what actually ultimately ended up getting me proper injured. Yes. So it's, yeah, it's really, really important. I, I, it's one of the things that I get asked on YouTube the most, or from like the community we got, is about gate analysis and or no. People say to me, what shoe should I get? I'm doing this, this, and this. You should always go and get your gate analyzed. But yes. come something proper like this. Don't go to like, and this could sound awful, but some like other place where you've got like some 15 year old, probably like, it's just trying to sell your shoes, right? <laughs> so I'm not gonna be sold shoes today. I'm here, free, it's not costing anything. I'm, on, I'm here, obviously I've been invited, but it's not costing anything, I'm not getting paid for this. It's just to prove to you guys how effective it is. So let's yeah. get into it. So what it's going to be is basically pronation again, just a little explanation of what the pronation is. Pronation is about your arch your, and your feet. So if you're flat footed, your arches have somewhat collapsed. So when your foot, a lot of people tend to have like a very arched foot. When you have an arched foot, you're more of a neutral. This is because you're basically not exposing too much on your arches. Your arches are quite comfortable. They're still very high leveled. And again, it's giving your feet the right, right measurements for every pressure point when exposed to the ground. Whereas if your feet become flat footed, you need to start looking into getting shoes that are going to help with that pronation. When you're flat footed, this is called over pronation. Under pronation is when your feet go on the outside. So when you're starting to roll on the outside. So when you are over pronating, you really need to start looking into stability shoes, which will help improve your arch and lift it up. It's very vital because this can really impact any joints from your lower body. This can mean your back, your hip, your knee or your ankle. You want to avoid that at all costs because it can really cause you to be bed bound for six weeks, any injury. Six weeks? Six weeks. Oh, I must totally up. lost the camera. But I was, I was, I was just, uh, I, uh, you might not have got any of that, but that's unbelievable. <laughs> I was just like... No, no, it's really, really, it's really... Oh my god, I didn't know it was, okay, right, so that's another good reason why I'm here. Right, I'm gonna get sorted out and then we'll get into it, yeah? Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. Right, so this is the money, so, okay. So tell us what we're doing. So with this iPad, what it is, as you can see here, we basically pick the option of the shoes that we monitor you in. We do neutral shoes. These are the shoes that will show us if you are over pronating or under pronating. Mm -hmm. We have no support in them. So, as you're wearing the magic speeds, we're gonna go over other. Then we have to pick the um, amount of kilometers an hour you're going to do. So you can either do 8, 10 or 12. 
Let's take it easy. Let's take it easy. Yeah. Take it easy today. We'll stick with eight. We usually do eight anyway. Yeah. Uh, and it's about ten seconds. It's not too long. And so that thing's gonna go. So what I'm gonna do? I'm basically gonna stand right behind you. Yeah. Monitor your feet. Place it right in line with your feet. Okay. So that it basically just monitors your feet as accurately as possible. Oh, sweet. Let's do it then. Right. Okay. Yeah. So hang. On. I'm exhausted. Right, okay, give me a bad news and a good news. So, on your right foot, you're actually all right. You're more in the middle, so you're more at a right angle. And this is important. When you're more at a right angle, this is how you want to be landing. You want basically, because what, what it's monitoring is your knee in line with your ankle, then in line with your heel. So essentially, it's checking here, here, and here. And if you look at the iPad, you can see that as well. It's actually monitoring these three individual points. And this is how we check your pronation. Because if sometimes when you're over pronating, your knee is out of place in comparison to your heel and ankle. So on your right foot, you're quite in the middle, which is good. It's very good. Right foot's awesome. <laughs> you are under you're under pronating a little bit more than you are over. Okay. So you can actually suit a neutral shoe in that sense. Okay. However, uh, on oh. your left foot, yeah. you are over pronating. Yeah, now, um, I'm going to let you in a little secret, I probably should have said before, the left foot is where I have a, I would say a slight injury at the moment. Yes. So, is that one of the reasons, or is that just, in, would that affect that, if because the, the injury is here, most of you guys know on the channel that it's here, which is where the two pronation control muscles go down? Yes. Would that affect that, or not really? So, it's more on the fact the point on your knee. Okay, your so I'm not really. Oh, that's not interesting. That much. Okay, that's good. It's more about, again, because we are watching you run, it's not where you're walking or anything. Interesting. It's more about whether, again, you're more flat footed or not. Because even if you were more flat footed, with the naked eye, if you were to walk up and down, mm. you know, with that amount of training we've done with these, even now, a lot of the specialists here, including myself, we're able to do it with the naked eye. So. Oh, she's a specialist. My camera, I apologise now for the camera skills today. I'm too busy <laughs> listening to the expert here and I ain't really paying attention to the camera. So, so my left leg yes. is pronating. Yes, it's pronating slightly. I wouldn't say extremely or over the top. It is pronating plus six. Plus uh, six, so what does that scale go up to? So it can go up to very high, it can go up to 100. Oh yeah. Not that anyone is 100, don't worry guys. So no one okay. is 100. What, my next question is, at what point, crossover point, do you recommend going from a neutral shoe to a, a stability shoe? So let's say you've got a, a five. Yeah, when you're plus five. Plus five and up. That's when, we, that's when we start saying you should probably stick to a stability shoe. Um, and obviously we do have the different, yeah, the you, different levels yeah. of pronation. So in my opinion, or in my, my expertise, I feel if you're not pronating as much, a GT2000 is your best option. They're very light. They've got good formation. This is the GT2000. Yes. Right, so, GT2000, now this sounds weird. GT2000 is a, would you say, a mild stability shoe? I in the would range? say mild uh, in the sense that with the arch, yeah. you can see, because these ones are quite visible, yeah. you can see these, if you look at the arch here, when you put your hand on it, or on the yeah, yeah, yeah. surface, you can see it's actually not that high. Okay. If we compare it to a Keanu. Um, we'll get a Keanu. Yeah, we'll get the Keanu later, but the Keanos are a lot more higher. And with that, obviously, less pronation, because you don't want too much pressure on your arch either. Okay. Yeah? And again, it's slightly lighter as well, because it's got a lot less it's large shell. It is light. you yes. can feel that's lighter. It is lighter than the Keanu, because with the Keanu, yeah. with more stability, they've got a lot more technology so inside. Yes. So that's five minutes, so okay. Yes. So plus five is where we go, we cross over. Yes, and, and because you are obviously still plus over plus five on one foot, and the other foot, you can still wear stability more neutral. Because again, stability helps with ankle support. Stability helps with support in general. You don't want your foot to then become flat footed as well. Yeah. So I would usually say, even if, even though you are obviously in half half, um, I would usually say maybe GT2000 is probably best. GT2001, I mean, it's beneficial because it's lighter. Mm. Uh, especially if you're running a lot, you don't want to be heavy. Um, and also because it will give you the uh, correct amount of support. It will give you the exact amount of support that you need, even though you are under for me to So you think a Kayana would actually be too strong? Kayana can be too strong, yes, because it, again... I can't, I can't like Kayana. You 
I'm not just saying. But no, but that's and but that's the whole point, right? People buy shoes, idiots like me, that you like the look of, but actually they're wrong for you. Yeah, but then the Kiana also has more cushioning. So you uh, could you could like cushion it. So I could go into a Kiana. You can no no no, you can definitely go into a Kiana. Because again, it's still gonna protect your feet. Because even though your arches are alright on this foot, your arches are good on this foot, what's the harm in protecting your feet? What's the harm in stopping your foot from going flat? You could have become flat footed at any point of your life. You're not so it's not about being poor with it. It's not something that's, you know, completely medical or anything. It comes at any point of your life. It depends on your walking, your exercise, your weight. It can depend on anything. Yeah? So it's not something I would say you necessarily have to be bored with. So again, it comes about comfort. Some people love cushioning. I'm someone that loves cushioning. Mm. I love cushioning. So when there is a lot more cushioning in the shoe and it's more stable, I will go for it. Mm. Even though it might be a lot of stability, I prefer it. Mm. So in your sense, when you said that you prefer the K on the 28 or the K on 28, the K on the general, it's because it's still supporting your feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, not giving you support, it's still supporting your feet. But you've got that support with cushioning, which you do not get. You, know, you, you always get something that substitutes for the other with shoes. When you get a supportive shoe, it's going to be substituted with no, no comfort. To have both in one is quite, it's quite good. Okay, here's a question. Go what happens if I, because these are neutral shoes that I'm running in, right? Yes. I, I mean, I wore the Magic Speed today, because I hope you've seen the video. I'm basically using the Magic Speed because I'm not running in them, so I just walked today. Um, so, bad example. But, um, am I, because I still run in a neutral shoe, so if I'm doing tempo sessions, speed work, race day, all that kind of stuff, because I know that I'm going to be thinking about form, thinking about how I'm working, I'm going to be a little bit more optimal, I'm not necessarily going to be lazy. Yeah, okay, towards the end of a marathon, I'll yeah, slip back, I'll slip back, okay? But can I still run in a neutral shoe, or would you, because I'm sort of 50-50, because you are 50 50, yes. But I would say the, the highest level of neutral shoe. Okay. The reason being is because these are the ones that are going to be most comfortable. Yeah. Again, uh, as I explained in the first. So when you say, part, sorry, when you say highest level of neutral shoe, what do you mean? The Nimbus. So the, the gel Nimbus. The See, gel I, Nimbus. I'll be a fan of the Nimbus Light, too. Yes. Which I don't think they, can, they do over here now, do they? We should be getting them into the store soon as we've got the oh, Kiana Light. Oh, you've got the Kiana Light. We've got the Kiana Exclusive on the channel because a lot of people ask me because I was recommending the Nimbus Light too. I've got sent a pair, I can't remember by who, but loved them. Amazing. Absolutely, absolutely loved them. They're light. Yeah, because the, the, the normal Nimbus is a big old, it's a lot of shoe. So I prefer the Nimbus Light too. But that is your sort of where I would sort of top out, you think? In terms I, of, think I think so. Only because, again, you are 50-50. It's not like you're so far from, you know, the um, oh, 2.5, okay. yeah? You are obviously overpronating quite a bit on this yeah, yeah. left leg. This if, you were, a, if you were more on towards the over, I would definitely suggest not to enter the neutral. No, not neutral, sure. Sure. But because you are 50-50, you can wear a neutral, but the higher level, because remember, on one of the film, your arches are collapsing. If your arch is now collapsing, you're exposing it to a lot more shock. Yeah, and this yeah, is a pressure point yeah, yeah. that shouldn't have this shock yeah. being exposed to it. Yeah. So again, your feet, if you look at the normal uh, of any shoes, you can see it's very, very specific. Yeah. You can see there's a lot of depth yeah, yeah, that go in particularly. Then you have parts that are sticking out a little bit more, which are obviously these parts. These are the parts of your foot that have more pressure points that are that should you're getting more shock to them, basically. Okay. These are the pressure points of your feet that are going to be most exposed, and this is where you're going to get the most protection. Nice. Yeah? This so, is amazing. <laughs> so literally, in that sense, I would definitely say you can wear a neutral, but don't go anything below the highest level of comfort, because again, the comfort comes with more soul. The higher level comes with a lot more soul to it. And this could be, I think it's about like five, five layers. It's quite a lot. So, you know, you more comfort means you're going to have more shock, uh, shock, shock absorption. Yeah, exactly. More shock absorption will basically mean that, you know, you're still protecting your foot. Even though you're wearing a neutral, you're still protecting it somewhat. Yeah. I wouldn't say wear a neutral religiously. Yeah, okay. No, it's wear a neutral religiously. It's interesting, isn't it? That is like, I mean, I kind of knew some of this. I mean, that's why when, you know, the guys invited me down, I was like, I've got to go down and do this because I've been banging on about my pronation problems. 
and it just proves it that you know I am sort of between, which I kind of knew. Yeah. And if I am lazy, then it's going to make it worse. But yeah, I think it just shows everybody that you need to get your game analyzed and, <laughs> and come here because this is awesome and it's free. <laughs> A lot of information now. I appreciate that. But how cool is that? So what's going to happen now, actually, uh, we are now going to do a test, some science. We're going to bring science into this. We're going to test the GT2000 version 9. We're going to put a pair of them on, and I'm going to put a pair of Kayano 28s on, the latest Kayanos. And then we're going to get back on that thing, and then we're going to see what the thing comes out. So, plus six, neutral magic speed, plus six, plus four, okay? So let's see what the other two punch out, and then we'll go from there. It's improved. improved. It has improved because now you're on both right here, you're banging in the middle. I'm banging on the middle. Oh, that is perfect. So plus four, plus five. So that's improved the pronation. That's improved the pronation. Right, so we're one step closer. Right. Yes. So, Kayano next? Kayano next. Let's do the Kayano next. Come on, let's go get those. <laughs> right, so, sorry. I was just like to say, Kayano's fitted, but this legend's been giving me more pearls of wisdom. So stand by, go. So, when we saw the improvements that happened on your feet, one of them was plus five, even though you were plus four before. Mm. But you were plus four because you were basically under pronating now. If you looked at the bar, the little bar, you're now going more to the um, left, which was under pronation. Okay. Yeah? When we saw the plus five, it was bang in the middle. Mm. This is how you, this is ideally what you want. You want that right angle. So you're looking for, you're not, yeah. you're not focused, so you're not focused necessarily on the numbers, you're looking at the you're, end. Yes, you're looking at the angle and the level you're at on the under pronation as well. Even though, yes, the numbers do matter, but the plus five, like I said, the reason we ask for you to be plus when you're over five is when we start to say that's change okay. level. Because bang in the middle, you can wear either or. You, you want to support your feet, wear supportive shoes. Yeah. You want a more comfort, more neutral, more Whatever. flat feeling, wear neutral. It's honestly any. When you're at that point, you can do anything, especially if you're bang in the middle. But if you're plus five and you are slightly over or slightly more under, you'll probably be more over. But if you're more over in the sense, then you would say, even though you are on plus five, you would need to start looking into stability shoes. Gotcha. Yeah? Right, let's do the Kayano. And then actually, I've just had a brilliant idea. Well, you might not think it, but I've just had a brilliant idea. <laughs> okay, give it to me. So, oh, look at that. Look at the improvement now. Wow, people, look. I'm a Kayano man. <laughs> Aren't I really? No, honestly, like, the Kayano does help. Kayano, again, like I said, when. Whether you're still that's right, look at this, that's unbelievable. Yeah, no, now it's completely changed like, the direction, which is good, which is which is good. But now you are, obviously now, then, you're now landing more on the outside. Yeah, so now it's gone the upper. That's... But on here, you're more in the middle. So, I'm, so it's corrected my, to be fair, both have corrected. Both have corrected. Both have corrected. Because remember, you'd rather be more on the outside than being on the inside. Because being on the inside, you're exposing way too much shock. Okay, so here's an interesting thing. On the other one, the GT, I was the same. Yes. So it, would it not be better to be the same? Hundred percent. Yeah. I think, like I said, I believe that from the moment we did your test from the beginning, I did say GT. Yeah, you did. Because so GT two thousand will again, like I said, it will protect it more. Because if you are mild, mm. wearing something so overpronated will yeah. only bring you completely to. So down. that's actually so that's that's I've gone from being uneven to even to now. Good uneven. Yeah, a good uneven. A yeah. good uneven if there is such a thing. That's really interesting. Yeah. These feel softer. 100%. There's definitely more underfoot. Yes, because these mean, ones are about, I would say, five layers. These ones are about three and a half. Yeah, four. there's more, you can feel the gel, yes. all that sort of stuff in there. But I reckon, it means nothing, but I would go with the GT. I, I think so as well. Like I said from the beginning, before we okay. continue checking the GT or the thing, I think the GT does do the job a bit better. So I'm going to take a GT, yeah, and then and then I'm going to go out and I'm going to do 16 miles in them, and then we'll know. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. But here's the thing. So before we did that, what I said was we're going to get a pair of Nova Blast or Nova Blast Two, whatever. Yes. So if you guys have not seen the reviews, check them out. But basically, the Nova Blast first one was way too unstable for me. I couldn't run it. 
Yep. No glass two is an improvement, but it, there's still there's still a bit of. But uh, now yeah. we'll put we'll find out the technology will tell us yes. how bad it is or how actually wrong I am, and you just basically need to ignore all the reviews on the channel. So let's go and do that, and then yeah, we'll, yeah let's get stuck in with that. Cool. Um, right. So look, box fresh, mint collection. Right. Let's do this one. Last chance just to see how bad. So well, that was plus that was plus, plus four, four plus one. The first one magic speed was. You remember what magic speed was? Magic speed was plus six. Plus six. Plus four. Okay, right, come on then, let's do uh, Nova Blast 2. So, this one. Now, this could be interesting. Hey, straight away, this, and apart from being noisy, I did feel like I was moving about. Now, this is complete. Wow. Increased it. It's actually increased it, so now you're over pronating a lot on both feet. So I've now gone to over pronating both feet. Both feet. Wow, so bottom line, no blast. No blast, I wouldn't say suit to you. Um, purely because, again, it's not being, you're not secure enough. I'm not supported enough. Yeah, it's, 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 there's no enough. support, because as well, one thing about no blast and any other like magic speeds and stuff, you will notice there's no angle support in any of them. And the way you can tell is the cushioning, the linear cushioning. So with the Kayano, the GTs, and most of like the Nimbus, even the Cubulus, you'll see the difference. They're a lot more cushioned on the linear, where the heel is at the back and sides. With the Nova Blast and all the other like um, faster collection, you do not get that. You get a normal, quiet, you know, flat yeah, back yeah, yeah, shoe, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you would any other company, yeah. like or anything. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. So you don't want that because you want some support in your ankle. So I think it's important because again, it's definitely It's really, it's a really important point because a lot of people, they are, and it's not to say, just because it doesn't suit me, everyone, everybody's different. Yes, everyone is different. This is why gait analysis is but very important. This is important. the point, yeah? This is why if you're thinking about, doesn't matter, Nova Blast, uh, Magic Speed, or, or any any brand, get your gait, get your gait analyzed because I think I've just proved, or you proved, that one, the magic speed I can kind of get away with. Yeah, kind of. But I'm suited more towards the GTs. The abilities. The Kayanos are switching probably too much, but I would still be very, very happy with it. Happy with it and in a much better place in terms of where I'm running. And basically, don't ever run in Nova Blasts. Don't. Don't ever run in Nova Blasts. Well, I'm going to get, get everything off. Can I just say why it's on film? Thank you very much. Is that, that is amazing. Let us know in the comments how awesome is yeah let us know in the comments because that's amazing mate honestly i can't believe it plus six look and plus seven come on right before we go today we've got one more thing to do we are moving our minds so hang on look a610k now i don't know when this video is coming out but basically a610k is this weekend um i'm not doing it but it is this weekend so tell us what is this all about so this is about the mind. So if you know anything about athletes, you probably know our slogan, sound mind, sound body. Yep. So as well as keeping our bodies healthy, we have to keep our minds healthy. And keeping our minds healthy can come from exercise. Exercise is a way where people, you know, get away from the troubles in life. Some people do it just, you know, because that's their, that's their space. And again, it's important to look after your mental health. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah? 100%. And this is basically what this is. Okay, so what? I, I need to scan this basically. So, yeah, so what it is, it's basically, it's basically trying to show you your mind before exercise and your mind after exercise. Okay. Yeah? So I'm going to do this, I'm going to run, Yeah. and then we'll come back and see what difference it makes. Right, yeah. So, let's so on your phone, you just scan that. Oh, cookies. Oh, it's all going wrong here, look. Right, hold tight, let me get I'm it. I'm just going to scan your face to see your basically before look. Look. Right, let's get Facial scan, right, facial scan. Start scan. I should, that, we should do yours, right? <laughs> oh, this is freaky, look. Oh. It's weird. Questions. Questions. Okay, you ready for this? How composed do you feel right now? 
10. Is that good? How are you coping with stress? 10. I'll give myself a really good score. How confident? 100. There's not 100 on here. How sharp is your memory right now? It's not going to give me a memory test, is it? <laughs> How calm are you now? Extremely calm. How energized are you? Pumped. Because I'm here at A6 London. Good effort, right? <laughs> What time are I'm going for a run. So, we're doing running. Start exercise. Save your pace. Continue. Yeah. Right. Right, I've got to go for a run. Stay there. Well, I did a 20 second sprint. No, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, he reckons. Okay. I'm out of breath. Right, it's now scanning my pace again. 10. Oh, I think I might be mapping this out. See the results. Basically, I think this is going to tell me I'm awesome. <laughs> Calculating your mind uplift. Wow. Total uplift 42%. Because you didn't, it didn't finish. Oh, because I didn't do the thing. I mapped it up. Oh, look. It's because, right, okay, look. This is my fault, as usual. Technology, I'm not very good. When I was doing this stuff, I, was t I wasn't doing the right buttons. So, actually, I mapped it up. I reckon that would have given me 100%. Yes. If I hadn't have mapped it up, you would have got 100%. 100%, as you'd expect. That's pretty cool, though, isn't it? Yeah, because what it does is basically, you know, depending on how calm you are and everything, it doesn't monitor that. And then, after the exercise, kind of once you've cleared your mind, done the exercise, it's more about coming and you know, yeah, I think, how you feel. I, yeah, I think the bottom line is right, it's just trying to show you the power of exercise, exactly, in particularly running and, and well, anything really, how good it is for your mental health, how, how awesome it makes you feel. Everyone knows about the runner's high, all that kind exactly. of stuff. If you're new to the channel, I run for my mental health, you know, so that's one of the main reasons why I do it, and it is so important, you know, to exercise because it will help with that, and I think. AC, not because I'm here, should be commended for like, cool stuff like this to try and promote that it's, you know, it's not just about what you're doing, it's about this as well. So, exactly. even though I mucked it up, actually, it's a good point, people. It's a very good point. Done. How awesome is that? I know that's a lot of information to take in, right? But that is unbelievable. Sound mind, sound body. Now, I know I've mucked up that other act thing, but as you'd expect, nothing less than 40 months. But, that's an incredible, and I mean, I've been in there effectively an hour, but what an hour well spent. It might even be worth listening back to some of the information, and, and again, apologies for some of the dodgy camera, but it is really interesting, I think, for anybody who's like, one, lucky to get, you know, maybe you're doing some running, but you want to then take it to the next level, or you're maybe training for the London Marathon, and you need your gate analyzer. Come down here, so I'm not being paid for today, um, they have gifted me a pair of shoes, but that's that's fine. I was happy to pay for them, but it doesn't make any difference. It, it, this service is free, people, so come down here and get it done. If you can't get here, go to your local running store that does gait analysis. Make sure they're not trying to sell your shoes and get your gait checked because I think it is critical that we do it because otherwise you could get injured and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, my mind is blown. Let me know in the comments how like awesome was that. That's amazing. Right. I've got to get back. I've got to go and coach some people. So I will catch you guys later.